Welcome to the Maritime Training Videos. In addition to the successful completion of a report, you come to know important information about the target vessel. The speed goes of a target vessel, CPA, TCPA, and bearing CPA with the target vessel. Finally, the aspect of how she see you. In this example, you will get a target approaching from the starboard beam. It's come from direction slightly forward of the starboard beam. You are heading to 005 degree with a speed of 12 knots. The target is approaching to the own ship. And the CPA is currently showing 0.5 knot KMI, passing a stand of the own ship. To walk up the course and speed of the target vessel, own ship heading line, in this case 005 degree, will be transferred onto the point core O. OW is 6 nautical mile, which is for 30 minutes run, with the own ship speed 12 knots. WA is the direction of the target vessel, and WA length will represent the 30 minute run of the target vessel. Thus, we can walk out the speed of the target vessel. In this case, 8 nautical mile for 30 minutes and the speed of the target vessel will be 16 knots. The target vessel heading can be measured to the nearest compass bearing and reversed the bearing to get the heading of the target vessel. In this case, 313 degree that she is heading for the time being. Heading 313 degree, the target vessel will pass a stand of the own ship at a CPA of 0.5 nautical mile. CPA 0.5 nautical mile may not be always safe. It may sometime necessary to take action in order to obey the master night order or standing order. For instance, if you have to keep any target passing at a distance of 2 nautical mile as per the master's order, then this is a case you have to take avoiding action. The approaching bearing of the target vessel is from forward of the own ship starboard beam 
showing the aspect angle of R43, that suggested the situation is a crossing situation under clear visibility condition. We will consider the probable actions of the own shape to avoid the risks of collision one by one. First of all, what if the own ship's action to auto course to starboard? If you make an alteration course to starboard about 45 degree, a light draw from a new point, a new O1, will pass the point A, making O1A, which will be extended to C, the new CPA that shown 0 0.8 nautical mile. This time the target will pass ahead of the own ship. CPA is not much better after changing course for about 45 degree and also it will not meet the requirement of the master standing order. Now it is for the second thought. What if the own ship is reducing the speed from 12 knots, which is currently having, down to the 6 knots, which is halfway to the stop? Or maybe you consider to reduce the speed and stop the own ship to avoid the risk of collision. Reducing speed to 6 knots will result at CPA of 2.1 nautical mile, which will satisfy the master order. If you can reduce your shift speed to 0, which is stop on the water, then you will get a better CPA as 3.8 nautical mile. Therefore, if you take the speed reduction procedure for collision avoidance purpose, your CPA will be between 2.1 and 3.8 nautical mile. Now you can compare the results from altering course for about 45 degree and reducing speed for about halfway to stop engine. Clearly, alterations of course is not the better option. However, you might want to know how much alteration should I make to achieve CPA 2 nautical mile. Of course, you can now easily know from this diagram, changing course to meet the extended line of CPA 2 miles. For that, you need to change your course to 081 degree. To achieve the CPA 2 nautical mile in way of altering course to starboard, the own ship will have to change course about 76 degree. In practice, changing course about that much is not always considered safe for the navigation. Sometimes, prevailing weather conditions will not permit such as huge changes of course alteration. It will depend current situation that you have to assess at all time. Finally, you still might wonder how the results could look if the ownership alterations of course to port to avoid the risk of collision of the same situation.
Now we can make a changes of course to port and meet the extended line of CPA to not get mine. Yes, you can always consider to do so as long as you are inside of one another condition. However, in this case, you need to measure new O1A, which is much smaller than previous ones. O1A length is the indication of how long you have to stay on the new course, in this case 320 degree, to reach the condition of finally pass and clear. In this particular case, you have to stay on the new course for about one and a half hour. That will result a condition you have to consider reducing your speed even after alterations of course. Now you can review all these diagrams and the results of the action you have done. Maybe you can alter your course to starboard or maybe you can alter course to starboard furthermore or you can reduce B to the halfway or maybe you want to consider stop the vessel on the water. And another way under inside of one other condition. You can also consider auto course to port, which may be better, you think, but the technically the directions of the Dake Vese coming is a little bit awkward, and you cannot consider alterations of course to the port is always safe because you are now almost parallel to the Dake Vese course and you have to stay for a long time and which is also you, you know it is not overhauling by the target vessel also you are not overtaking the vessel in within the very short period so you got to consider which one will be the best action i suppose reducing speed to the half way to the stop or maybe you can stop on the water of your own ship will be the best action thank you for watching the video